everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day four of the holiday card series for 2017. Today I'm using the Jolly Gingerbread stamp set from Sunny Studio, as well as the Jingle All the Way stamp set from Brutus Monroe. So I'm going to be putting these two together to create a fun scene on the front of a card. Starting out with some black cardstock from Gina K Designs. Uh, this is the black cardstock that's in that autumn rainbow pack. It's the same one I used in day three. And I'm starting out by putting the big gingerbread house image near the bottom of the card. And, and then I'm going to put the very merry stamp right above it, kind of with the Y coming out of the chimney. And I'm going to be stamping this in Versamark ink and then embossing it. So I'm using my Misty tool for all of my stamping today just so I can stamp both of these together and get a really precise placement. And also if I don't get a good stamped impression, I'll have the opportunity to stamp again in the exact same place and not have any weird double line issues. So I'm using a, an embossing powder from Brutus Monroe today. This is the Ultra Fine Embossing Powder in Alabaster. And I've never used this embossing powder before today. And in fact, before this particular instance. And I have to say, I really do like it. It is very, a uh, very ultra fine powder. Um, it's great on all those little lines that are on the gingerbread house. So I was actually really impressed. And um, I've heard that this has kind of been a fan favorite. And one of my friends recommended it. Thank you, Lydia. And I kind of really like it. So I'm going to use it for a while, see if it is one that I'm going to um, use all the time. I did use a, a dry paintbrush just to swipe, swipe off any stray embossing powder, and then I heat set this. And one of the reasons why I needed to use that brush was because I forgot to use anti-static powder tool before I did my stamping, and usually that's pretty dangerous, but I think I lucked out this time. Um, I, I didn't have very many uh, spots with stray embossing powder. So now I'm coming in with some colored pencils. These are actually polychromos pencils from Faber-Castell. I'm trying these out. Another one of my friends, Iana, has been doing a lot of colored pencils and videos recently and on darker surfaces, and it really inspired me. Um, I saw her recently and did a little bit of coloring as well um, using her pencils, and I was really impressed with the texture of the colored pencils and thought it would be worth it to get a set for myself to try out. So I did end up purchasing these. Um, this is also the first time using these, and I really was impressed with how well they did. Um, I would have hoped the white would have been even more stark, but I think if I would have spent more time and um, tried to really fill out all the white areas, do more and more layers of color, I'm pretty sure I could have gotten it pretty, pretty flat and solid. So I'm filling in all these areas with the different colors for the gingerbread house. I just picked some really colorful different colors of pencils for all the gumdrops and the, the door and things like that. I, I mainly just used a brown for the gingerbread, a red, a pink, a yellow, a blue, and a green. So kind of like rainbow colors. I didn't do a purple because the purple didn't show up as much on the black cardstock. So it kind of it looked a little bit too dark. But if you wanted to, you could probably put a layer of white down and then put some purple on top if you wanted to. So I created a scene with the sidewalk in front of the house and the snow banks, and then I decided let's go even further and make this even more of a complete scene. So now I have some faded jeans distress oxide ink, and I've got that on an ink blending tool and I'm bringing it in from the top and sides just so it has a little bit of a blue shade. So it almost looks like the nighttime sky when there's a storm and there's snow falling. If any of you are in snowy climates, you probably know what I mean, that sometimes at night the moon coming through all the clouds gives this kind of like eerie glow. It's really kind of a cool look and I thought this would be fun for this card. So I'm going to clean up that oxide ink off my uh, work surface here. This is an easy, what is it, an easy clean mat or something like that from Tonic. And I'm going to place my falling snow stencil over the top. This is the falling snow stencil from Simon. And this has been a favorite for many years of the holiday card series. I keep coming back to it. And I know you guys do too. This is one of the most popular stencils over at Simon. And for good reason. It's so versatile. So I'm going to take some white pigment ink. This is from Simon. And I'm just pouncing that on using a foam uh, blending tool. You could use um, ink dab or even a like a cotton swab or q-tip just to add all of this white ink to those snowflakes and I like applying it this way after the image is already 
on the card because you can avoid putting snowflakes in the middle of those words or over the gingerbread house. So you can really let those images stand out. So I'm going to work on my card base now. Excuse me, I'm still working on my cold here. Um, in my last video for day three, I told you guys that I'm sick. I am still sick. Um, even more hearing is gone. I can't hear out of my ears. It's really disorienting. But um, anyway, I'm using some Nina Solar White cardstock for the card base. This is the 110 pound version. And I scored that at five and a half to create a top folding card. And then I adhered my piece onto the card base using some Tombow Extreme Adhesive. I add a little bit of shimmer using a clear Wink of Stella uh, glitter brush pen. And I also decided to go ahead and color in that chimney with that brown colored pencil, just because the white just looked a little bit off to me. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a greeting right over that Very Merry. This is the occasional labels stamp set for Mom Elephant. And this one, this little stamp says Merry Everything. I'm using Crimson Red Versifying Ink. And I'm just stamping this onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. This is the 80 pound version. It's just the thinner version of what I use for my card base. And I'm trimming that out, leaving a little bit of a white border around that greeting. That's just going to let it stand out above all of this kind of busy scene on my card front. Put a little tiny strip of foam adhesive on the back. And then that's going to be popped up right above the letter Y that's coming down. I decided it still didn't feel finished. It felt like it just kind of went off into nothing on the edges. So I brought in a dashed line around the outside, and that's generally what I do when things are feeling a little bit unfinished. So I'm just using a Uniball Signo Broad gel pen for that. And that finishes the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was day four. I will be back on Friday with day five of the holiday series. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. <music>